Hello and welcome. This is my video tutorial for needle felted mice. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the armatures. So I'm using two thicknesses of wire today. The first wire is 1.25 millimeters thick, and I use this for the head and the body and the legs. And the smaller wire is 0 0.6 millimeters thick and I use this for the toes and the tail. Using the thicker wire I've cut two lengths. The first one is 34 centimeters and this is going to make the spine and the back legs and the second one is 24 centimeters and this is going to make the head, neck and front legs. And with the smaller wire I've cut a length that is 28 centimetres and this is going to make the tail. Using the 24 centimetre wire I'm just going to fold it in the centre and then I'm going to start twisting the two wires together. So I'm just going to grip it with the pliers for a better hold and then when you're twisting you want to make sure that you're twisting both the wires around each other. And I'm going to twist until I reach a length of 4 centimetres. So now that I have 4 centimetres, I'm going to find 2.5 centimetres. And I'm going to fold this over and this is going to create the head. And what I like to do with the head, I take the very, very tip of it and just fold it over ever so slightly just to give it a more, a more curved rather than straight edge. Now that I have the head and the neck shape sorted, I'm going to take the other piece of the larger wire. This is the 34 centimeter one. And again, I'm going to find the center but instead of twisting the wires together, I just want these to open out into a little point. So this point is going to go at the base of the neck at the front. And then I'm going to twist the two wires together on each side. So I'm going to twist it each one twice. So I'm going to twist a full one so that the small wire is pointing down. And then twist it again. So that the small wire is pointing down and I'm going to repeat the same step on the other side. And that has created the shoulders. With the two larger wires I'm going to bring those over to the back and I'm going to cross them over and you're going to get a little triangle shape. Leave that where it is that's not a problem and then just twist again until we reach a total length of six centimeters. So that is the head, neck, shoulders and the spine. I'm now going to work on the front legs and to do this as you can see, the leg has three folds. So it has one bend here, another one, and then one more. And each length is 1.5 centimeters. So to do this, I'm going to hold the mouse by the body, take my ruler and just measure 1.5 centimeters. And I'm going to bend this backwards. And again, measure 1.5 centimeters from the fold that you've just made except this time I'm going to fold it down so you should have sort of a right angle here and then one more time 1.5 centimeters and fold so you should end up with this shape so what I do now is I pull it forward and just sort of adjust it 
to a shape that I'm happy with. And then this little bit on the end here, I fold over and that is going to become the foot. So I'm going to repeat the exact same steps on this side. I've now folded both of the front legs, so it's time to move on to the back legs. And again, it's very similar in that there's three folds. So we have one, two, three, but these ones are 2.25 centimeters. So for the first fold, I'm going to measure out 2.25 and I'm going to fold it down. So it sticks out back here and folds down. For the second fold, measure out 2.25 centimeters and then fold back. And then the final fold, 2.25 and then just fold this one forwards. So we have a zigzag shape here. And then again, you just adjust them to a shape that you're happy with. And then this bit gets folded over for the feet. Then I'm just going to repeat this on the other side. Now the back legs are done. The next step is simply to just fold the center, the spine, just to give it a little bit more of a curve. And then just again, adjust your legs to a position that you're happy with. So the next step is making the tail. So for this, I'm going to need my thinner wire, which is the 28 centimeter long wire. So find the center. And I'm just going to twist these wires together until I have a total length of 12 centimeters. If you don't have any of the thinner wire, you can just use a pipe cleaner for this section. I've now got the wire all twisted. So all I do now is take the wire and place it in between the back legs. And then I'm just going to twist the wire around the main body. Just to secure it into place. There we have a little tail. So now I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm going to wrap from the nose all the way down the neck and down the spine. So I just place it through the little gap in the nose, fold it over and just twist it together. And then I'm going to start wrapping the pipe cleaner around the head, down the neck, and then around the body. And then just trim off the end. With the little piece of pipe cleaner that has just been snipped off, I'm just going to fold this in half and then place it at the back of the neck and then I'm going to wrap it around the shoulders just so it covers this corner here because it'll make it a lot better when you felt in so that there's no sharp edges sticking out. So at this point is where you decide if you want to do individual fingers or if you don't want to do the fingers, you can just add some wool to the little stumps. 
because the fingers can be quite fiddly to do this is an alternative option which still looks very cute anyway but I will show you how to make the fingers if you want to do so I've made the first paw just so you can have a rough idea of what we're going to be doing now mice do technically have four fingers but they do have a little tiny thumb down here so I've done five but this little thumb will be blended in a little bit with the wool so to get started just open up the foot that's been folded over this just makes it a bit easier to work with and then take some of the finer wire I haven't measured this I just kind of guess a length as I go and then the leg that you're going to be working on just place the wire about halfway up the first bend and then I'm going to clamp that in place And then I'm going to start twisting the wire down the leg until I reach the bottom section of where the foot's going to be. So once I've reached this point, I'm going to measure each toe. And each toe is going to be 0 0.5 centimetres. So find 0 0.5 and then I'm just going to fold that over. and then clamp it down so it's nice and secure and then with the rest of the wire I'm going to fold it round the base of the foot and then measure the next toe and then again fold that over clamp it down and repeat the steps for the next three toes or two depending on how many you're doing <laughs> so I've now got five toes and I'm just going to trim the very very tip of this wire here and then I'm just going to clamp that down towards the foot And then with the remaining wire from making the toes, I'm just going to wrap this around the leg to secure it into place. And that is how you make the toes. And for the back feet, it's exactly the same process, but each toe is going to be one centimetre. And here is the completed armature. All four paws are now finished, so this one is now ready for the next steps, which will be wrapping with wool, posing, and then starting to build up the body, which I'll show you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!